Many people never bother to change the default password on their devices, and for Raspberry Pi, this can leave it extremely vulnerable. Today, we'll check out a tool called Raspberry Pi Hunter, which allows us to track down and take over any Raspberry Pi connected to a network, on this episode of Cyber Weapons Lab. Today's Python program is called Raspberry Pi Hunter and was sent in to me on Twitter by a subscriber named Buses Can Fly. Now, as you can imagine by the name, what Raspberry Pi Hunter does is hunt down and log into all these different Raspberry Pis that are running default credentials that are on your network. And you don't need to know the actual network address of them to even do so because it'll scan for them first. Now, once it identifies them and logs in, you can push pretty much whatever payload you want. And this can be helpful, like an update, or malicious, like shutting it down or creating a whole bunch of backdoors. Now, if you want to see some more details, you can check out the GitHub or the Nullbyte write-up on Wonder How To. But to get started, you'll need a Raspberry Pi that's running Raspbian with the default password and SSH powered on. You'll also need a computer that has Python, but that can be Mac OS, Linux, whatever you want, because Python is cross-platform. Once you have everything powered on and ready to go, then we can begin. Hey Bytes, in 2019, YouTube started enforcing a ban on instructional hacking, and as a result, we started getting warnings and even a strike on some of our content. Now, in order to make sure we didn't get taken off YouTube entirely, we had to move some of the more problematic videos over to the Nullbyte website. Now, I understand this is a little bit annoying, but you can still access the content by checking out the link below and in the description. Thanks for understanding. Now, when we log into the Raspberry Pi, we should see an updated message of the day that includes, there you go, change your password, which is what we pushed as a payload from Raspberry Pi Hunter earlier. While Raspberry Pi Hunter is an extremely powerful tool, you do need to be careful as to what you're doing with it. Now there's kind of two use cases here, and the first one is definitely positive. You can control your own devices without needing to individually set them up. So if you have maybe five or six Raspberry Pis and you're trying to keep them all updated, this is a great way of pushing out payloads and otherwise managing them remotely. Now conversely, if you don't have permission to access those Pis, this is also something that can get you into a lot of trouble. So although you could technically maybe scan the entire internet for Raspberry Pis with default credentials and exploit them with something like this, I do not recommend doing so because it is definitely illegal. That's all we have for this episode of Cyber Weapons Lab. If you have any questions, you can refer to the Nullbyte article for more details. And if you have any thoughts or feedback on the show, you can send me a message on Twitter because I'd love to hear from you. We'll see you next time.